M0 FXB, the CTR2 MIDI controller is USB powered and this one has a 3.5 jack for your CW paddle which is very handy. Now in the UK G7 UFO makes a battery module for this device. It also works with the CTR2 Micro which I'll be doing some videos on soon. The main difference with the Micro is it doesn't actually need a software in between to, to control your radio. This one has dipsticks and it definitely has a CW paddle, a cat connection there uh, and a key PTT connection. So it's quite advanced. Again, it's USB-C powered. You can buy a model where the dip switches are inside, but I, I really like this one. So videos learning this one soon. But anyway, I thought I'd show you how to add the, the battery pack. So on this side, you're seeing that there's a, a power board there and uh, the, the battery itself and then a USB-C cable coming out. So it's, it's handy because it makes everything more portable. So I, I have, um, they do come with an Allen key. And I've loosened this wheel just to take it off. You don't really, I don't feel like you have to, but I found that when I was wiggling to get the back panel off, it just made, made it just a little bit easier. So all you do is pinch, pinch here on both sides, and then just gently start to lift this away. And it's coming, it's going to come forward, okay? Forward, like so. And there we are, it's off, okay? Uh, keep it because it's got your details on it. Then there is an on off switch on the back and there's like an indentation when it's on. See the indentation there? So I've not even fit, you know, installed this yet, but you can see that you've got the two sort of bits that stick out like hooks, or we call them hooks. Let me show you them clearly. Sorry, this camera just. Get back to zoom. See the hooks here and here. And the two pinchers. So we just put the pinchers in line like this, make sure that it goes all the way back and just sort of squeeze it together like so, make sure it's got a good solid grip and our wheel, put our wheel back on, I'll just quickly do that Allen key up here It's a nice metal wheel. Okay, that's that. So now all we need to do is put the cable into here. Like so. We charge it here and turn the power connector on. And that's it. And then to connect, here it be put away, you've got buttons here as well. Go to tools and look you've got MIDI and you've got the other type which is let me show you the the dial one with an actual screen. Looks like that. This one has a built-in battery this one and this one's by G7 UFO. Uh, I'll show you the website and the these of the these devices have been sort of created by Linnovation as well. So this is G7 UFO site, and this is Linnovation in the USA. That's Lin. So lots of information. So let's see if it detects my controller because I've not used it yet with the battery. I actually haven't used this MIDI hardly at all yet. I've been tinkering with the other one because it's so much fun as well. Uh, so tools, and then it says here. Enable and then find CTR2 and it says found, click OK. Let's go back to waterfall at the top and let's just see if we're getting any tuning. <laughs> Maybe it found the wrong one. It's very possible that it found the wrong one. 
actually it, it didn't it says cannot find let's turn this one off and try again okay if you look it, it was working just now I might need to charge it or something but anyway let me tinker uh, but that's the battery installation video bye for now